tinning your soldering iron. Any new tip that you get needs to be tinned. It's not a, a complex process, but the timing is very important. Uh, the tinning does two things. First of all, it keeps the tip from oxidizing. And second of all, the little fine coating of solder that's on the tip is actually what transfers the heat from the iron to the joint you're trying to solder. Now the secret to tinning is you have to get a coating of solder onto the new tip before it gets hot enough to start oxidizing. Now there's a number of tricks you can uh, apply to this. Uh, one way is to wrap a layer of solder around the tip before you plug it in and start it heating up. That actually works fairly well, though you still gotta, gotta mind it. Uh, this one heats up pretty quick. You notice I'm checking it right now. I want to get it the instant it starts melting the solder and get that coating on there before it has a chance to oxidize. Now this is an iron plated tip. Um, that brings up a point. Do never, don't ever use a file on the tips. Most of them are iron plated with a copper core and um, if you use a file on it you'll remove that iron plating and the thing will oxidize much more rapidly. Now you can see there it's just started to melt. So I want to get plenty of solder on it. Before any oxidation can form. Now this is rosin core solder of course. So the flux is actually helping. It doesn't hurt to have as much as you can. Once you've got a good coating on it. And you're ready to go. Like I said, it's not complicated, <laughs> but it's incredibly important you do that before you start using the iron. Uh, as far as cleaning the tip, there's all kinds of ways you can clean it. Um, a lot of people swear by their little wet sponge in their soldering iron holder. Um, just a cotton cloth or a shop towel or anything else that won't melt and has nothing, no ingredients in it that melt cleans it perfectly fine. Uh, of course, as you're going along soldering, the standard fare is to flick it off every once in a while. Because you actually, when you're soldering, you're going to want just a little bit of excess solder on the tip in order, again, to transfer the heat. But that's all there is to tinning the tip. Make sure you do it. And make sure you do it the very first time it heats up and before it can start building up oxidation. Once it heats up once, uh, <laughs> you're messed up. All right.